Hey Hi, everyone! Hey, uh, welcome back to RC and Manny's channel. Um, thank you so much for coming back again. However, if you're a new viewer, welcome to the family and we hope to stick around to watch some more. And yeah, check out our previous videos and subscribe in that button and like here, okay? Like, um, somewhere just here. somewhere down there, you're gonna find it. Yeah. Um, What's our topic today? Today we're going to be talking about a very important and heavy topic and which is mental health. The most important thing about a human body, okay? And this is in honor of October October 10th. Um, it's a national... National Mental Health Awareness right? Day, I think. Yeah. It is, right? Well, no. I is. didn't confirm, but I think so it is. Um, so Manu is going to be telling us a little bit about it here and I will try to say it to the best of my ability integrating as well, okay? Yeah. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is like, we're just gonna explain the difference between mental health and mental illness basically. Mm -hmm. um, so mental health is just the, the overall wellness of your mind, right? Like so healthy mind equals healthy body type of thing where um, you're taking care of yourself and taking care of your surroundings and making sure that Mm -hmm. You are healthy and, um, you know, able to handle problems as they come and not having to what dwell in it, I guess, mm -hmm. um, for too long. And you're able to just kind of like deal with issues and mm -hmm. move on and be able to um, continue on with your life, right? Without having an impact you in such a, in such a big way. Mm -hmm. um, but mental illness, on the other hand, is basically does the opposite of that, right? So mm -hmm. where... Which um, not a lot of people know. Yeah. Like so. it's it's confusing. I use it like I use both words inter um, interchangeably, inter interchangeably um, sometimes, unfortunately. And I try to like, and I actually have to catch myself and say, okay, what am I trying to refer to? Mm -hmm. um, but so but basically, mental illness is like a, a disorder with your brain, um, mm -hmm. where it's actually impacting your day to day lifestyle right like and you're actually unable to cope with challenges or unable to take care of yourself mm -hmm. and your surroundings or able to make sound um you know um, decisions i guess about things that happen in your life so that's basically what mental illness is and usually when you get to that stage like your emotions are a lot yeah. more heightened so for instance like if you're feeling sad you tend to feel sad longer than um, what a, another person might be might feel right mm -hmm. so it's that's what makes it mental illness um, as well. you could help us understand to why is it best to see a therapist and to seek a medical attention rather than friends advices or family because um, most people tend or turn to their families for help yeah. and friends right yeah. and sometimes you feel like I really can't do much for you here yeah so um, I think, well, like, I think, like, with, it's different, right? Like, you can still go to friends and, like, family and stuff like that. But what makes it different is that with mental illness, you actually have to go through a diagnosis stage, right? Your friends mm -hmm. can't diagnose you with what's wrong with you. Your friends can't medicate yeah. you. Like, they can't do all that, the medical aspect of it, but they can still be there to, like, you know, hear you out through, you know, whatever challenges that you go through or even just, like, throughout the whole diagnosis process, right? Um, but with mental health, on the other hand, it's it's mostly like emotions or um, challenges that you're temporarily going through. Mm -hmm. So reaching out to a friend is obviously going to be your f the first thing you think about because you're not having, you know... That's your surrounding. That's yeah, where you would find yourself going that's your there comfort first, zone. right? So with, like if, with mental health, like it, it makes sense to reach out to a friend. Like mm -hmm. I think we all do it. Like that's our go-to. Um, yeah. But like when it becomes a lot more consistent, that's when you actually have to tend to like say, okay, you know what, like friends can't help me. I actually have to go seek a therapist and then get the support that I need or the guidance that I need throughout the whole process. But yeah, okay. I think that's like the only difference. Alrighty, well, I'm going to be coming in here to let y'all know what we just talked about in Tigrinia. So. So, مبزحتو بزي mental health, mental illness كبهال نقول بتجرينيا كل تيو حارو هون يسمع عنا. So حارو هون هو سمع عنا قبل نقول لهم mental health ناي ناي مروت عنا 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 إذا بهال بتجرينيا ترانزيت كون نقول له mental illness كبهال نقول له هاني ناي ناي مرو حمام أو حمام ناي مرو. 
either way you know gun um كل غزن زغالات زخ نسمع ان كلنا نابس الا لينا نتحاحي زومبرني نافت الشقره بوش انا نخو نخو زل ناسني لايك اتاتش عن غبرلينا اذن كابزن ساينز ز زحدت كل انه ما عنده خاني تراما ستريس ديبريشن مبزحتو حبشانا بتراما زحاله في كندي كندي زراي كندي شجر زراي كندي قص هذا زحاله في كاب grand parents خوينهم سجا حد زلوا ما لتيو من السيات ناون بسن كذي ام كندي استها سيلو كندي هاز سيلو تراما خب بحالن كل حجي ام بسلا I hope I got this right but بسلا okay ستريس كبهان كله جن تعطي ديبريشن كأني جن كات أنا نرسى حجي جن كات I didn't know the difference between جن كات and تعطي until like I had to prepare myself for this content content sorry um however نعد نت عنا خامر أي مالت نسنا أمر خامر أي مالت أيو كل تيوسني goes hand in hand and then كل جزء خان زي محفر زي م زي um shame Shame is going to be a good thing. Shame is a feel good thing. You know, like you don't have to feel shame. You ain't got to feel guilty for for feeling a certain way or for not knowing how to express yourself at times. But just remember that when you need help, know and say you need help. Acknowledge that you're going through something. You know, it's not the easiest thing. We're all in the learning process. So the best thing for me is taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental state. Because if you don't take care about, about that mind, the body's not going to do well. It goes hand in hand, okay? So, Manny, tell us one thing that you do to take care of yourself. Um, I... Not yourself, but your mental health. I mental health. Um... I make sure, I think for me it's like working out is mm -hmm. like my one thing, staying fit and, and just like going for a run and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I recently got into running so that's been helpful mm -hmm. um, and so yeah that's something that I do, it's like simple for me but it might not be the same thing for you so maybe walking is something that you can do to like ease your mind or whatever but just find something that you really love to mm -hmm. do and then really like use it to your advantage and just Kind of something you truly that. enjoy with and like when you're doing it yeah. you're not feeling like you're working or putting pressure on yourself yeah, that's exactly so what that's do do? what we do y'all know Arcee then you know what she does right food is my therapy cooking it eating it going shopping for grocery that's my therapy and just anything that has to do with me being in the kitchen and music slash painting and art which I haven't done in a while but those things definitely put me in the happiest mode ever. So, yeah, this is it's simple. The simple things, honestly. The you wouldn't even know it. Like, it's just as tiny as this, but it could still, could still help you. Um, some people like writing in their diary. Like, oh, I, I, I still too, do. But, like, um, mm -mm. I think that's very helpful too. So, like, yeah. like I said, like literally simple things. Um, mm -hmm going for yoga once a week something anything <sighs> yoga anything it's beautiful, and... but if you're like me you still struggle a little bit however it's Everybody a very good thing and it. yeah when you stretch and do you know the mm, and yeah no no especially how yoga is so fine. good like but anyways whatever that makes you happy <laughs> i tried to be as serious as i could but i had to crack in a joke in there you know just just to make sure that we're vibing and yeah pretty much yeah it's just our scene. um yeah so if you do go to hot yoga and you end up not feeling well blame her it came from her so she recommended hot yoga so <laughs> don't faint eat something before you go drink water a lot of water yes, make sure oh it's ice God. too okay yes um but yeah so i think that's like today's video is very short but we yeah. just wanted to come up here and like kind of share i guess like some information because it's a very important topic and we yeah, felt and overwhelmed like, into how we should prepare for you guys true. but we we have aimed to keep it short and simple yeah. and i think we we went what we, we aimed did, for I think, yeah, yeah we did, I think we did good. Good. so it's yeah. short but it's simple it's like 
very right to the point. If you guys would like us to go in depth about it or like, oh yeah, please let us know, share, comment, okay? And we're gonna attach our email this time, so make sure you shoot us that email. Don't scam us, but do it, do it. I like it. <laughs> no, I like when that yeah. happens. You know, okay. when my phone is busy, it's a good thing. Okay. I'm lying. Do not do it. <laughs> um, I was gonna say she's replying to all of them. But <laughs> um, we're gonna be attaching our um instagram as well yeah, yeah, yeah. so please feel free to message us with any questions with any improvements that we could come up with with any like thumbs up you guys are doing good too you know anything um, let's go with this anything to boost our energy yeah our motivation. um anyway so that being said though we are going to attach two um links on the description below yeah definitely. one of them is through um the Canadian Mental Health Association. Mm, so that website one. has pretty, you know, it has stats. It has like articles that you can read about mental health, like any basic information that you want to know, mm. that's where you need to go. Um, also, I will be attaching another article that's through um, a similar organization, but like a partnership, I guess, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, the article is a bit long and it's basically stat based and, and, and it's it goes in depth of like mm -hmm. how deep mental health, I mean, mental illness is or mental health and how impactful it can be like economically mm -hmm. not just on an individual level so mm -hmm. if you'd like to read that stuff go ahead and read it it's actually very informative i actually read it it's actually really really good so she read it i recommend you um oh. reading it it's pretty fun but yeah it's good so. to know knowledge is key they say so please go true. ahead and true. click that link just read it i'm pretty sure you're going to pick one or two things out of it yeah so. that's very true yeah so but hey so this is us. Dun 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 dun. We, we will see best. you next I don't know time. If we okay. Rambled on, but no, we didn't I rumble. Think. Anyways, um, yes. I think so. Like, well, have a lovely day. <laughs> and stay. like we always say, mm -hmm. stay resilient, resilient and, and empowered. empowered. Y'all got this, okay? <laughs>